Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you um, a few cards, actually three cards using the So Much Happy bundle, which is this one. And I really got excited about this one because um, I don't know if you have seen this one in the catalog, but um, it cuts the letter, um, the happy, which are already linked. And let me just find them real quick so that you can see them. But I found that they were really, really um, cute. And let me just find here real quick. Clearly, I didn't thought about this before. The so much happy. It's uh, 45. But let me just show you here how it looks. So it is this one. So it cuts the letter that way. Hello, everyone. And it has little banners. But I thought this one's kind of cute. And I was thinking that maybe you can do one of those cards that open and have like um, the window sheets. So anyway, I got very excited. And so I thought I will give it a try to this one. And... um. Also, um, just so you know, you have clouds and then, of course, you have that little banner. There's balloons, which um, you can also use the balloon punch, which is actually what I did. And so definitely wanted to give it a try. So this is the one that we're going to be doing. Now, this is one of those bundles that you can get for free when you buy the starter kit. I think I mentioned that last week as well. So during June, when you get the, the starter kit, Stamping Up is also giving you a free, um, a free, uh, what I'm saying, bundle. So this could be the ones that it's a stamp set and a die set together or a stamp set and a punch. So definitely, this is a great time to get that starter kit, especially with the new catalog. You get tons and tons of new items there. I'm sure you have a long wish list, and so definitely you get a lot of um, bang for your buck <laughs> because you get $125 worth of product, and you only pay $99 and taxes there's no shipping so right there you save another 10 percent and now like i mentioned during june you get an additional bundle for free so this is in addition to that 125 dollars. so definitely a really great deal another thing that i want to make sure you know is that my next car class is going to be all about the forever fern which i know i've mentioned that in the past this is one of my favorites i think this is the favorite from that new catalog and so these are the cars that are going to be included on that um on that um, class. And so there's some fun folds, there's some um, some regular cards and fun folds. And so definitely a really cute one to have. And so I'm gonna be sending the information about it during this week, or actually next week. And um, so make sure you're on my mailing list so that you get information about that card class. I am working on the PDF and the video. So the PDF is also going to be soon available. So make sure again, you're on the mailing list so you know exactly when it is released so that you can get the PDF or get the make or take kit for this class. So uh, other than that, let's just get started. Oh, one more thing, I forgot. So also this is the last week to sign up for the catalog kickoff. And that one is the one that includes six classes. Three of those classes includes make and takes. And the other three classes are PDFs. It has a goodie bag. It also has a three watt presentation. So definitely it's a great card, uh, card class to have. And of course, we're gonna be using different suites and products from the new catalog so you get more ideas. And so if you're interested in that, make sure you are on the mailing list because I'm going to be sending another email tomorrow. And then the final date to sign up for that is going to be on Wednesday. I believe that's the 30th. I think it's the one. Yeah, it's the third. So the 30th of June, that's the last day to sign up. So if you're interested in getting that kit as well, make sure you are on the mailing list because that's where I send all the registration forms. And also um, there is an option to get that one only for the online part so uh, it gets uh, it is cheaper you don't get any of the uh, make and take products but um, you do get access to all the classes and the presentation so it, and it, anyway so make sure you're on that mailing list because that's really where i share all that information so with that being said let's get started with the cart class i'm super excited with this one um i'm gonna be using uh let me see where is that? That new Glimmer paper. Uh, let me just put it here because I, you know that I have already, or that I always try to have things already die cut and whatnot. So for this one, 
I have, let me just share it with you. So there is a new Glimmer paper, which is this one. And it's the one that has the uh, all the colors, which I think it looks really nice. My biggest problem is really selecting where I want to be cutting because I love the whole thing. Uh, you could use the one color here. Like if you line up your dice that way, you can have everything in the one color. You can also have all greens and blues you can also go with the purples and green i'm sorry and blues so anyway so to me that was the hardest part because i love the whole thing of that one and i wish we actually had like um the glimmer paper on all the different colors so anyway so that was the hardest part for me hello hello everyone <laughs> thank you thank you for joining me so on this one i die cut i cut a piece of uh what did i do here I cut a piece of like um, two inches, actually it was like one and a half. And um, and then I just put my die cut and cut it. Now, the other thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but I also use one of those foam sheets that, um, which is this one. This is a brand new adhesive. So what I did is I cut a piece exactly the same way and then I just glue it to this paper and then run it through. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with the way it went. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder. It didn't. I did run it like two or three times just to make sure it cut everything. But quite honestly, the whole thing cut out really well. So I'm very, very, very surprised with this. Definitely a great addition to the adhesives that we that we have. And it kind of is like the uh, thickness of the dimensional. So I think it's going to look really nice. So the one thing, so when you get it, you get it like so. And I already kind of cut some some of those. And now I'm just going to be cutting all this section because I only want the happy. I don't want those lines for this card. Um, I also cut out two of the balloons. And because I used this area, I wanted to use some of that. So I used the blue with the purple and then the purple here. So that's how I did this part. And I used for that one the balloon punch. Um... Just because it was easier for me, and I love that they're a little bit larger than the ones included on on this set. Um, all right, so now let me get this out, and let's just start going. So for this one, what I had pictured in my head, and uh, let me just go. So I have a piece of basic black. This one is eight and a half by five and a half. Then I have a piece of um, mellow mambo. And this one is four by five and one quarter. So this one is gonna be a, a mat. And you know that I always cut uh, out of my, um, out of the mat because this is gonna be hidden here, right? So no one is gonna see that part. So I love doing that because it helps me save paper. And, um, and now I have um, a piece of Whisper White and this one is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth so this one is gonna go like so all right and then i'll put my letters and then i have a piece of the uh that will do the light and this is half of an inch by two and a half so this is where i'm going to be putting the happy birthday then there's going to be the balloons and there's going to be the happy here now for this area though i wanted to use some of the clouds and so what i did is i just use uh, regular car stick and then I die cut it with the die included here. So I just make a little um, Yeah, a little I don't know how to say like like a little panel or Yeah, like a stencil if you will. I don't know that it's a stencil and now what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be covering Let's just saying like this much And um, you know what let me line up this ones first so this is the trick. So you just need to decide how much you want to be covering. Yeah, that way this is going to be squared to that one. And I'm just covering this. You can also use the um, painter's tape. However, I don't want anything to be inked on this side. So I just want to be using this part. And then I have another piece of... Uh, post sticks here. So on this one, I'm going to be doing exactly the same and Just went a little bit here I'm gonna line it up here and I'll put it there um, Just give me one second here. Hola, go go back. 
Oh my goodness. Give me one second because my little one just show up here. This is crazy. So, whew. Oliver, go back home. Vete a la casa, por favor. Um, so I'm going to have this section. Yeah, this has never happened, and now he's here. We'll see how that goes. I feel like this one is a little bit offline. So... I just want it to have the same. And I feel like it's not as... I'm just going to put a little more. I feel like it's too thin, so let's just do this to get more of... Because I'm going to be putting clouds on this section, so definitely there we go all right so here we go so now once i have that i'm going to be using um uh, my template to go and form those um clouds and and um i'm using here um I'm using here a sponge, and this is just a quarter of a sponge, and I have a tab with the same color. I'm using um, Pool Party, and I'm just going to sponge here, and I don't know if you can see it here. I'm taking some of the color off. and here we have it and then i'm going to go ahead and line up this one like so all right and then i'm going to probably put this one more like that And I always try to take color out from a piece of paper and then come in this section. I don't go straight from the pad into here. It gives me a softer look. And then I'm going to go back in an angle. And let's just continue doing that. Okay. Give me one second here. I might need to uh, stop for a second because Oliver just found my room. <laughs> and so he's here. And I need to take him back home. So um, just give me one second. Alright, so as you can see here, we're going to be doing those clouds. And I'm going to put this one maybe like so. And you're just playing with it. And so you have this as the sky. And so now I'm gonna take off this. Oh goodness. And we're gonna have this section. Hi Kay. So now that I have that, I'm gonna be putting this section here. And see how it looks like I have this guy, and then I'm gonna be putting this, um, this words here. I'll put here my banner, and then I'm gonna be adding the balloons here. Um, so, so this is how it's gonna look, and um. Just give me one second here. Hmm. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, 
Alrighty. Then I have this. Let's just start stamping the happy. Now, one thing I'm going to share with you is that as I did the sky, I did try to do more of the border. Like, you don't want to be doing too much of these because otherwise you're not going to see the edge. You want to make sure that as you're doing that, you kind of go towards those. So when you're doing this, try not to have this much, right? Because otherwise you have this white area where you don't know exactly what it is, right? But here you can clearly see more of the sky and you can see more of the line. So that's something to, to take into account. And the other thing that I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of changed the way, right? It was not always this, but sometimes I got these little ones, more of the bigger one, just to add a little bit of, I don't know, um, interest on those clouds. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. <laughs> So now for this one, I'm going to be using the birthday and I want to do all as birthday. There's different other sentiments. There's one that could go really well uh, right now. There's a lot of uh, people with graduations that they didn't got to celebrate. So I thought that was really cool. So there's graduation. Um, happy to have you in my life. Happy to celebrate you. Happy to know you. So there's tons of them, but honestly, the one that I use the most is always birthday. So I like having lots of birthday cards. So I'm going to stamp it right there and there we go and I'm just using Memento ink then I'm going to bring the Taylor Tech Punch of course you know how much I love that one and we're going to be punching out the edges All right, so I have that one. And then um, let's already fold this section. So this one is gonna be folded. Uh, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one. Let me see, do I have that? Yep. Yeah, Teresa. Yeah, yeah, give it a try. I know you're gonna like it. Let me bring my scissors. So I didn't uh, take them off all just because I knew I was gonna lose them. So I'm gonna just cut that section. didn't cut the lining thing so let's just think that I need a beam then also another one now I could have used also the alphabet there is a new alphabet but I wanted to use everything on these um, all the different dice on this one so definitely let me just cut a little bit here. There we go. A little bit. Oh, that's from the other part, so I'm okay. And then I'm going to be taking this one, so. Oh. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put those there before I forget. Um, on this one, there's also a die to die cut the little lines on the on the balloon but for this one I thought it would really be nice to do to use this ones instead because I want I don't want anything on top of these letters so I'm gonna going to see how do I I'm just gonna think that way we'll just put the happy here yeah so I think there so let's just go with that and I might want to change this yes okay so Let's just hope this goes well because I already uh, glue everything. She have done it the other way, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So I'm just going to put here. Okay. 
Mm. Let me see. I don't want this to go all the way down, so I'm going to put a little holder here. I don't want to go past that because I feel like it is too long. Hmm. Yeah, probably like so. Okay. And then I don't know. Let me think. Where is the balloon? So I have the one here. And then I have this one here. Do I want that section? Or actually, yeah, I think it's this one again. Not towards this area. There we go. I'm gonna cut this here. And we're gonna be pitting this with um, dimensionals. Which I know I should have somewhere here. I'm gonna grab one of those. So I'm gonna be, oh, this is glue. Yeah, it's already glued down. I'm like, did I glue that already? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one first. And let's see. Actually, let's, let's glue this one like so, and then pop up the other one. Yes. There we go. Looks nice. And then we're going to be adding those words here. Went towards this section. I like that. And then where is the birthday? Actually, I want to cover these there. So I'm going to put this one first. And I'm going to be raising this. And I think I could have left the um, the little lines all the way through. Because this one, it would be here. So that would have been fine. That's okay. I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to guide this ones like so. Yep. All right, so I'm going to put first this one. All right, I need to kind of look how I am putting them. Oh. There we go. Looks really happy, don't you think? And we're going to be adding this one right here. And there you have it. And I love that it has that that uh, dimension in the whole thing. So very excited, like I said, very excited with those phone sheets. Um, and that was like a brand new adhesive that we have now. So here's your card number one. Very simple. I love how that Skype looks with those balloons, don't you think? So anyway, so let's go with card number two. Now card number two, it's a little bit more elaborated. It's just no it's easy, but there's a little bit more of a steps. So let me just share these, that one. I don't want to share these right yet. I have one of those, one balloon, and then this one for the sentiment. So for this one, I have Bermuda Bay. And I have already, this one is eight and a half by five and a half, already folded in half. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, thank you. 
So now for this one, what I was thinking is putting something like that and then cover these areas like so, right? Now, let me just share it with you. So this one is, let me just take all this out. So this one is four and one quarter by one and a half, a little bit more. So it's one and five eighths. And then I have another piece of four and one quarter by um, this one is five eighths too. So, and this piece was three by four and one quarter. And if you've noticed, I kind of cut it leaving like one quarter of an, like one half of an inch, right? You can see here. It's a little bit less than one uh, half because I wanted to make sure I cover the whole thing like so, right? So um, definitely just check that. And now this one, I didn't say that, but this is a uh, watercolor paper, so it's thicker because I wanted to color all the letters. Um, now this section is just pretty much a scrap, but this is a half of an inch. Yeah, a half of an inch. And I'm, this is where I'm gonna be putting the happy, I'm sorry, the birthday. And then I die cut um, the little banner here, okay? And this is in Whisper Bite, and we'll see. You're gonna see how it looks. Now, uh, also punch out one of the balloons, as you can see here, using the balloon punch. And I have that cut. This is the string that it, that it comes from the dies. So let's just go from there. Now for this one, I wanted to have another happy car, and I got inspiration from the Glimmer paper again, so I wanted to have each letter on a different color. So let me bring, where's my scrap paper? Somewhere here I had a scrap paper. Um, hold on, let me just get a scrap paper here. Oof, goodness gracious. Um, so I'm gonna bring this. And so this one includes lots of colors. So I'm gonna have Bermuda Bay. Now, this is one of the old style of ink pads, so I can use that one. And then I'm going to be using one of the newest um, uh, aqua painters. So now the aqua painters comes in like three different sizes, which I'm excited. And so this one is the thickest one. Well, let me show you the other ones if you've not seen those. Then there is one that is super fine, which I love that. And then we have like a medium size, which this one is kind of looks like the old one, right? Um, so I'm excited to have now two more sizes. Definitely, definitely excited with that. Um, I have already put the water in. Oh, I already took the, where's the lid? I don't even, oh, here. So now I'm just going to make sure I have enough water. And... I'm gonna put water on this one and then I'm gonna color this one. And so I'm gonna take the, the um, hold on here. Give me one second, because I think I lost something here. So this one, I probably need to add a little bit more. Um, here. You might want to add a little more of color. All right. Once I have that one, you just clean it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna change colors and I'm gonna use the um, Gorgeous Gray. Now this one is one of the newer ones. So when I have that, I don't really do the lead. So I'm taking a little bit of ink from the, on an acrylic block. And I do the same, but just put the water. There you go. And then I take the color from the block. And the more water you get, it's gonna get um, lighter, 
right? So if you want something that is darker, you need to kind of put less water. I'll just add a little bit more. All righty, so I'm gonna let it dry. Again, we're gonna be taking, I'm gonna take this one and I need more color on that one. And I'm going to clean it because I'm going to be using it for another one. So now it's clean. Then I'm going to bring um, what color? The Melon Mambo. Um, oh, what did I do? Here. And let's do that be using one of the piece. Oh, you can see I'm just making sure I'm covering the whole thing. And again, you just need to make sure you, usually reds are, um, like you really need to make sure you change, like you clean it well before you go to the next color because usually reds tends to um, get longer, you know? There you go, this one is good now. Now we're gonna be bringing the, um, oh, I didn't have it here. The um, pumpkin pie. There we go. I'm like, I thought I had it here. I guess I put it away. Same thing happening here. We're gonna take color. And I know it's taking longer, but uh, believe me, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love how this one looks. Alrighty, and then same thing, we're gonna clean it. And once you're done with that one, we're gonna bring another color. So I'm gonna bring the um, Daffodil Delight. And I think I should have probably started from Daffodil Delight to the other ones, cause this is the lighter color, but you can see it, it is okay as long as you um, as long as you clean well your aqua painter, you should be fine. A little bit. And there we have it. So this is how it looks. And then you just need to clean it so that it's ready for you to use. One thing I gotta say with this one, particularly for this one, I tried to kind of put everything back like together. The first one I used it, I didn't really pay attention to that and I left it kind of open. And so the next time I used it, it was kind of open, you know, like the brush was all open. It didn't matter that much because I just put a little more water and you can see it's again all together, but for a second I was like, well, <laughs> Can it ruin it? And see, it seems like I need a little bit more on that one. I feel like I put some of that purple here. So let me just add a little bit since I still have that aqua painter here. Let me just let me just put that. I don't want to have that purple in that area. All right. Very good. And again, you just need to make sure those are kind of together. And we are done. So this one's was that. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it dry. Um, the next thing is this little guy. Now I'm gonna show you here what I did. It's not too bad, but yes, like on this one, I, I know, I think I kind of went a little bit crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> but I wanted to have too many colors, and so for this one, I'm going to be using blends. 
<clears throat> so I have that for the little light. And this one is the light, daffodil delight. And so I'm just going to go and color the first one of each of these um, banners. Then, uh, and you can see it doesn't take that long, that, that much time, but yes, it's not my typical type of cars, right? You know me. But I feel like I just wanted to have a happy, a happy card. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that one. And then I'm taking, I'm following the same colors that I did on that one. This is Melo Mambo. That one is the dark. This one is the light of Melo Mambo. And... Let's just do that one. All right, then we're gonna go with the highlight highlight header, and this is the dark. And we're gonna go ahead and do this one, that one, that one, that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the <clears throat> light of the Bermuda Bay all right and once I have that then I have the dart of the basic black and I'm just gonna go and color that area that way you have a banner that it's different colors you just have to be a little bit careful you can see here um, I went a little bit over so you just have to be careful and the same thing here and then you have the little banner in different colors how about that huh so now i have already done that with um two of them so i have them here ready and i think that they look really nice don't you think now the challenge is going to be how i'm going to be gluing them i still haven't figured out just yet so we'll figure out here um do i have that little hold on um maybe the fine tip glue pen yep we're probably going to be using this one. So now this one is dried. Now I have also kind of, um, uh, what is the word? Um, embossed. And this is with the texture. I don't know that you can really see it here in the video. But uh, it's right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this one's here. And then glue this one here. What do you think, guys? I mean, don't you think it looks really nice? <laughs> Like I said, I went kind of crazy with this card. I, I know, it's not my typical. Um, but I felt like it looked really nice. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and... Oh! Alright, so we have that section. And then we're going to be gluing this section. We're going to go ahead and There we go. And this one is gonna go right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna be cutting the X's on those areas. Huh, um, yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, 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 there we go. So that's gonna go this way. Now, I was thinking, now I know um, 
It would be nice to have like embossing folder. I know this one had retired, so I was playing with the embossing folders I have. This is already retired. I'm not gonna use it, but you can see how it would go really nice if you have like an embossing paper underneath, right? I mean, don't you think? It just looks really nice. Um, like I said, just look and see what you have. Uh, we don't have something with the little dots at this point. Um, but yeah, you see what you have. I'm sure that you have previous, um, what am I saying? Embossing folder. So definitely you could look and see and see how this one is a little bit cricket, right? Which at this point it is what it is, I think. Cause I use the, oh, actually no. Actually, I can move it a little bit. There we go, much better. Amazing, because it's uh, the fast fuse. Usually you cannot really move the fast fuse. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue this one. There you go. Yeah, it looks nice with the embossing folder too. So just look for something that you have. Play with it. See if you like it. And let's just cut from this side because clearly it was a little bit longer than that. Then let's just stamp the little string here because I was thinking oh yeah let's put the happy birthday first um where is the basic black here so we have the black ink so this is the memento ink again and we're gonna be putting it here there we go then let's cut this one and bring the um what is this uh, taylor tag punch hmm. there we go and this one is going to go somewhere here because i want the banners on this section so here's what I picture have this one here and that one there right and then have the balloon here and then have the little string here yeah so what do you think I think it looks really nice <laughs> you're loving this one even more <laughs> that's kind of funny in there um, okay, so let's see. So I want to put first, wanna, let's just add this one first so that the banners can go on top. And now we're going to be using this one, which, uh, let me see, let me bring one of my blocks. So let's just use these. Um, Uh, oh, well, this one, there's not too much to hold, so let's see, we're going to be adding it right here. We're going to put this one right now here. Now let's add this one, what do we say? Yeah, like that, and then this one, like so. Okay, so let's add first this one. And um, I'm just gonna be adding like little dots on the banners. I think that will be the easiest way to glue this one. Just add dots. Alrighty. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna put this one here. And then this one, it's gonna go like so. So let's do the same. We're gonna be adding that. And it does dry fast. Yeah, I didn't, th yeah, you're right. I could have used the um, sheets and I actually have them here. I totally missed that one and I think it will be really hard to stick it now that it's done. But you're right, that would have been much, much better than this going dot by dot. <laughs> So, yeah, sometimes I forget I have those things, right? So, we'll see. There we go. We're going to go this way. Oh, did I not put adhesive on this one or what? Probably not. Did I not put adhesive? Let's see. Or maybe not enough. Cause it drew. Oh, there we go. Let's just wait a little bit there. Now with this one, you definitely need to make sure you uh, close it real quick so that it doesn't clog up. All right, and now we're gonna be gluing this one right here, like so. So let's add two dimensionals. Where are the dimensionals? Huh, well, I had them here. Oh, here we are. I'm like. Oh, the fast few, I. Oh, uh, you had an awful experience with the fast fuse and with the, um, what is this other called? The two, uh, the tip, the fine tip clip, um, glue pen. Well, I don't, I honestly don't have too much issues with it. And, and you know how much I love the fast fuse, right? I mean, although I gotta say, I did, I did buy already the new stamping seal and I'm very excited with that one. So definitely excited that once I run out of my fast fuse, I think like I have a good solution because definitely I, yeah, I'm loving both of them. The seal and the seal plus, both of them very pleasantly surprised with them. But I still have a lot of uh, fast fuse, so I think you're still going to see me using it. Um, until I don't have, then I'll probably going to switch because I still have a lot. <laughs> so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and cut this section, that section, and this section, and this section. And there we go. And there you have it. So this is card number two. I think this one should have gone more that way, but that's fine. And um, here is card number two. So you have card number one. And like I said, you could have put uh, like an embossing underneath and I think it would have looked also really nice. But if you don't have the embossing folder, that looks, that looks good. <laughs> fast fuse. Yes, I love the fast fuse. I really do. But like I said, I'm, I'm excited at least there is a solution now for me. <laughs> All right, so now card number three. So... I th um, let's just look into this. So here is what we have. They all are very cheerful cars, as you can see. And for this one, so I have Mellow Mambo as my card base already, oh, already uh, folded in half. So this is five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. I have a piece of basic black and where is the ruler? This one is, I think it's five. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, five inches by three and three quarters. And I have a pool party piece. And this one is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Hi, Don. How are you? <laughs> 
So we're gonna be putting this one like so. I have also die cut um, the cloud die, right? And this one is in vellum and this one is in whisper white. I'm gonna be doing pretty much the same as with the other one. So let's just bring the little template I had. Somewhere here I had it. Hmm. Well, oh here, I'm like, what I did with it? And we're gonna be doing again the sky, but now on the whole piece. Now, um, is this still wet? Maybe I use this section, it's not as wet. So this one, and we're gonna bring again the sponge and the pool party. Hmm, yeah. So I'm gonna put this one here. And this one, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be using like this first. So this one is on a full uh, piece. Oh, I should see, I forgot about cleaning, but you can see how when you go straight to the cardstock without sponging out the color, like you get that blush and it's okay, but sometimes, I mean, I don't know, I don't like it. So I like to have more of a stuffer. You can see here how it looks really thick. Now this one, I'm not too concerned because I'm gonna be covering, but yeah, I don't like when I do that, when I forget those things. Then I'm gonna bring this one. And we're gonna be, and you can see, I'm not going all the way here. I'm just kind of finishing where the color kind of mix. Oh, forgot again. See that? I'm not going all the way here. So it kind of goes that way. So that's another thing that I think I do without really noticing. And then this one is all across. So I'm just gonna go. And then I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna take this area now. And I'm doing like a circular motion too. So now I'm gonna take like this. And again, I'm only going this area out. I'm not going this way, or at least I'm trying not to, so that I don't get anything of that, right? And then let's just do this section. And the same thing here, I'm not going all the way here, I'm just going to this section. All right, see that? So I'm not, I'm kind of stopping before I go to the next cloud. And so now I'm gonna be using this one. And on this one, I'm pretty much just doing this shape. Let's see, yep. I could probably even do a little bit more here. Cause this one. There we go. And there you have it. So, very easy. And um, so the key thing here is flip a little bit between both sides and also just uh, do not cross so like for instance this one was that one when i'm doing this one i'm not going to this section and i'm stopping to where the color is so that way it looks like it's under if if you know what i mean right 
So, um, oh, say hello to Lenny. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna be putting this one. Now you can see these ones are a little bit larger. And so this one is, oh my goodness. This one is five inches, right? And the length, it doesn't really matter. You just calculate how much you have. This one, it's about one and three eighths, and th sorry, and three fourths, right? Um, and then this one is, this one is lo longer. So this one is five and one eighth. And let's say that this one is more like two and a quarter maybe, right? And, um, so the thing here is, um, because these are kind of like the same, right? When you die cut it, I'm going to flip it, right? Just to kind of get the same thing as like different type of clouds. And so I might just do, and this is why they're not the same size so that I can uh, move them a little bit. This one is going to be cover. So I just need to make sure I can do that and see that I'm going to take that one this way. See? And then let me see. And then I'm going to be cutting that excess. So that's what I was thinking with that bellum. So now I'm going to be adding adhesive on, on this section because it's going to be cover. So oh, let's just see this again. So I'm going to be putting them a little bit like so. And I'm going to be cutting that excess. All right. And then I'm going to be adding this one. Now for this one, see this one, I'm probably going to be putting like that. And it looks like there's something else there, right? And it's not exactly the same size. Actually, I'm going to put it like so. So I might even put this one, just frame it exactly with this one because I want to add on this one the happy birthday now for that one I have here a piece that I have this is happy now um I want to put the happy with the words yeah I think that would be nice and then I want to add like the balloons right something like so probably yeah so this is how this one is going to look now, let me do the birthday first. I don't know if I want to have this one in a different color. Maybe, oh, maybe I do the Bermuda Bay, right? Maybe I go with Bermuda Bay. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Let's do first this one. This one will be on the black. We're going to be putting it here. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want this in black. I think that it needs to go in a different color. So let's cut this one first. I'm going to be making this one tighter. Okay, so say so that I have that one, or do I want it this way? Hmm, I actually like it this way better, like a long thing. So I'm going to be putting this one, and if it doesn't work, then I flip it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be adding this one here. And let's just bring either that or Coastal Cabana, maybe. Let's see. Coastal Cabana. Yeah, let's just use that one. Let me think. Before I do that, um, let me bring a little piece of Whisper White, just in case this doesn't work. Um, okay, I'm going to put here just a little piece here. Just so, I, so if I put it like so, do I like it? Yeah, it looks nice. I think it will be nice. You know that I'm a visual person, right? So I'm going to be putting this one here. Yeah, I actually do like it. So I'm going to go with that. All right. 
Oh, 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 oh. Let's bring this one back. Let's put this one here so I know exactly where it goes. And we're going to be stamping it here. There we go. Yes. All right, so now we're going to be gluing this one down. Oh, great. Um, let's use that one. Like I said, I do have that Nero one. So let's just use that one since the other one ran out right now on me. Yeah, it's this section. And oh, actually, it's this section that I need to add more adhesive. this is the one that I am framing. There we go. We're going to be cutting this one. Now I do have a lot of adhesive on this section. And I think I shared this with you, but you if you get a lot of the gooey thing on your scissors, you can use the essential oil, the lemon, and it cleans it really nice. So I love using that for my scissors. Plus you get a really nice um, smell, right? Not a smell, but the aroma on your room. So definitely love that. Where is the, oh here, I'm like, where is the birthday thing? So let's go ahead and add this one. Put this one here. And the one A, this always a little bit more. There we go. Good. Sometimes I kind of doubt it. This one is going to go right here. Oh, oh, this one is not the one. One thing is I'm so used to the fast fuse pulling that sometimes I forget that you don't have to be doing it on this one. But like I said, I'm really liking the new adhesive this way. There we go. All right, then we're going to be having this one popped up. All right, so the next thing is gonna be those balloons. I'm thinking those are gonna go like so, All right? And then let's add the little, um, oh, I kinda crushed one already. So I don't, let's see, I feel like I want this one. I don't want them too long either. I might have to cut a little bit there. Just to have that one. And then this one. Without this thing. Okay. Yeah, because this one is that one. I don't think like I need another of those loops. Here, and I'm gonna cut that one yes okay so let's just glue one first yeah where is that thing here oh I'm gluing the whole thing oh my goodness 
Let me see what I did here. I'm going the whole thing. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of this one because I don't want it that long. Oh. And I'm okay with that because this one is going to go right here. Then this one, I want this one right here, so. This one can go here. I don't like that loop here but I do like how this one looks that way so I'm gonna move it down and then cut more here so let's just do this section oh Where's the blog? I need a blog. Oh my goodness. Where, like, where is the blog here? Let's just dry a little bit here. There we go. And then for this one, I don't want that um, loop. So I'm going to cut all together this one. And then just have this one here. By itself. Oh, there we go. Yep. So uh, let's see. So I have this one here, that one here, and then this one's gonna go. Yep. Okay. So let's just put this one right there. And where is the block here? There we go. So let it, um, let it dry for a second and let's just close this one. All right, so once I have that, then definitely wanna have, so this one is gonna go flat. Let's just add that one. And this one is going to go like so. And then this one is going to be popped up. Yep. All right, so let's... Do I put... Um, I think I can raise this too. Yeah, let's just raise that one. And then this one, we just need to put a, a dimensional on this section. Yep. And then a glue dot on this section, which, where are the glue dots? Here. There you have it. How about that, huh? It's a very happy card. <laughs>
So I think these cards are a little more elaborated than my usual, but I definitely, definitely, definitely love playing with the whole, with the whole um, set. So this is the stamp set. And like I said, you get, um, let me just put them in order. So card number one, card number two, and then card number three. So let me know which one is your favorite. Like I mentioned, um, the stamp set is called Is So Much Happy and you get differently. So I chose to do all as birthdays, but definitely um, there's different sentiments here that you can use. Like I said, there's the um, happy to have you in my life, happy to celebrate you, happy birthday, happy to know you, happy graduation, and so very happy. So definitely lots and lots of choices. Definitely the dice also are great um i definitely love having the clouds because you can do so many things and if you remember a few years ago which i think this set will be just perfect for that a few years ago we have that unicorn and it has like a little rainbow and when don't why not i think this one will be just perfect for that if you still have that one i think it had like a mermaid a unicorn a dragon and a knight yeah, that's what it had i don't remember the name of that one um but I, when I saw this suite, I so thunk so about that. Like, I think, like, it will be really nice to have a unicorn on this one, do you think? And I think there is a set also. Um, I think it's the one from the $1 million Robin Carton that has a unicorn and a hippo. I think those will be really nice. I don't have that set yet, but definitely I think that having this guy with the little uh, hippo here and say happy birthday will be really nice, don't you think? So, anyway, so those are the few options. Um, like I mentioned, we still have um, the free bundle when you get the starter kit. And as I've mentioned before, you don't have to be a demonstrator. You don't have to be doing this as a business. Uh, you can get the uh, a starter kit just for the good deal that it is. You get $125 worth of products. You pay only $99 plus tax. There's no shipping. And then in June, you also get a free bundle. So this could be your free bundle because definitely you can use so many things. So anyway, so hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions about that starter kit um, um, promotion, leave me a comment. I'll follow up with you. And so anyway, so if you have also any questions, let me know. I'll be... Oh my goodness, Sharon. Oh, there you go. Well, send me, send me your address and I'll gladly will be sending you a happy birthday. <laughs> okay, Teresa. So yeah, uh, Sharon, that would be great. I think that's awesome. Yeah, send me your address. I definitely would like to send you one of these cards. <laughs> um, all right, well, thank you. I don't think there are questions. Let me just check. Check, check, check. Yep, nope, no questions. So. Oh, what is the stamp set? So, Teresa, the stamp set is called So Much Happy, if you're still here. And uh, what else? What else? Let me, yeah, I think, I think those were the only questions that I see. So, anyway, again, any questions, let me know. Um, even if I'm not live and you're watching the replay, you can always uh, put the question and I'll go back and answer on the comments. So, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>